Okay guys, so in here is my next component for my setup. This is a Samsung 28 inch 4K monitor. And uh, today guys, we're gonna be adding it to my setup. So yeah, let's get into the box. Okay guys, so as you can see we've got our monitor screen there, we also have our stand uh, there, so that comes in two parts. Then we have a plastic back plate for the monitor, and then we've got our power brick, which is a super, super nice little block. And it also comes with a display port and a HDMI cable, uh, which is super, super nice because it means I now don't have to go out and buy these. Okay, so I'm now going to go and assemble my monitor and get it up on my desk. Okay guys, so there we go. As you can see, it's just about the same width as my other monitor. In fact, it might even be wider. What I might actually do is warm out my other monitor above the other one, so it's kind of up here, uh, and then have this one below, um, which would look, I think, a lot better than having these side by side. But I think for today, because uh, I don't actually have any wall brackets, I just want to get this one set up uh, and start using it. So I'm actually just gonna run these two side by side and uh, yeah, maybe improve it again in the future. Okay guys, so this is what I'm thinking in terms of the new setup, having my 4K monitor there, so when I'm sat down at my desk, that is in front of me all the time, with my LG Ultrawide off to the right. Uh, obviously I can't actually have it like this because it does protrude off the edge of my desk, um, which would mean if I was to walk past it, I would knock it off. Um, probably every single day. So this one's on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and this one is on a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So this one is much wider uh, than the new monitor but this one gives us true 4K resolution uh, whereas this one is uh, around 1080p. It's just a little bit bigger than 1080p because obviously it's a little bit wider. Okay guys, so I've just plugged in my PC and I've just booted it up. Uh, so let's see if we can get this thing connected. It looks a bit weird actually compared to, I'm so used to that wide one, but then the wide one looks super weird as well. Okay guys, so it's been a while since I've used two monitors and it's actually really, really handy to use two. Not only can I just watch YouTube videos and stuff while making my own stuff, um, I can also watch uh, films, play games and do other stuff on the other monitors. It just works a lot better. I don't have to be flicking in between. So yeah, it's very, very handy to use two monitors and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so I've currently got Premiere Pro open on here and a bit of YouTube open on the other tab. So what I'm going to go and do is just close down Chrome on this one so that will shut and we've just got my desktop background on there uh, with Premiere Pro on here. Now, as you can see, I've got these different windows. Uh, so what I can actually do is drag my entire visual thing onto the other monitor. So that is that, and if I want, I can just go and stick it back uh, where it was, I think it was there, there we go. So it's very, very easy just to move stuff about. Now, because this is an ultra wide monitor, uh, when I finish my setup, my dream is to be able to have um, my whole timeline spread out on one of these so I can drag that one right out over here because these are two different monitors you can see when it's in 4k it's a lot smaller because there's the same amount of pixels there um, as there are there and as you can see it gets smaller as it comes onto the 4k ultra wide because technically this screen uh, even though that one's an ultra wide this screen over here um, is four times bigger than the resolution on this screen over here so there we go as you can see I've got my timeline on there now and I can then bring in another window onto this one here okay now one thing that I have actually struggled with with this monitor is the fact that the contrast isn't the same as this one, which is an LG. So I'm gonna to have to change the contrast on this monitor directly, uh, which can be done quite easily. There's just a switch on the back there, which takes you straight into the menu where you can go and change the picture. Uh, so from here, you can change all the contrasts. Uh, so I'm gonna whack that one up a bit. I'm also gonna change the overall colors. I think it does look a little bit red. So I'm gonna reduce the amount of red on there. 
the whites on this monitor are much brighter, so there is a lot of stuff I need to do to get this to how I want it to look. Uh, but for now, it doesn't look terrible, it just doesn't look the same as the other one. And that might mean changing a couple of things on here as well, because both monitors are from different companies, made at different times with different resolutions and different technologies, which means they will be slightly different anyway, but I want to get them as close as possible. But you can't just change one to look like the other. I will have to change this one to get it to look more like that one as well. So there we go guys, I've improved my setup dramatically by using this monitor. It's just so nice to use. I can use it with my laptop and get really nice 4K image and use it with that. And there's just so many more pixels which makes everything look just a lot sharper and just nicer to look at. Um, anything, anything on the internet, so on apps like Google Chrome, everything just looks a lot finer. On Spotify, things are just looking fine. The whole monitor makes it look really good. Now, I haven't actually tried gaming on this monitor yet. With my old graphics card, I did try it on a 4K monitor, um, but it wasn't the best for gaming. But when I'm gaming anyway, I might want to play on the ultra wide anyway, especially on Battlegrounds. You can just see a lot more when it's wider for some reason. So when the monitor's wider, you can actually see it a lot more, and I genuinely think I prefer gaming on just a wider monitor anyway, so I can just switch over to that one while I'm gaming. And then I can do loads more stuff on this, like photo editing and video editing. There's just a lot more screen real estate, uh, which I need. <coughs> There's just a lot more screen real estate, which I can take advantage of. And yeah, it's just... <coughs> There's just a lot more screen real estate that I can take advantage of, and everything just looks a lot more crispy um, and nice to look at. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you like my new setup. It's not 100% done yet. This is kind of temporary. I might move it out. Um, so yeah, but this is how it's gonna stay for now. So if any of you guys are interested in this monitor, I'll link it down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.